Hey everybody, what's up? This is Ed over Team Aquascape. I am back at Christ Community Church, St. Charles, Illinois, the water garden capital of the world. And this looks phenomenal. Check this thing out. It looks like landscapers have been very, very busy. Just about a week ago, this was all torn apart. We still had a mound of soil over here that had to be removed. They pulled out all the soil, they brought in sod, they mulched, they edged, they put in plants, trees, shrubs, perennials, a whole walkway going through this whole thing. And it just looks incredible. Just check this thing out. Here's our main waterfall down here at the bottom. This is our 3,000 gallon reservoir. We have our waterfall up there on the top. Water quality is doing incredible. I could see the upwelling areas from our jets that are blasting water up. Look how clear that water is. You can see all the stonework down on the bottom, the steps leading down into it. Everything just looks beautiful right now. And I know we've been getting a lot of rain as well, which means our rainwater diversion system is also working very well. Just check this out. Nice little walkway going across. Still just absolutely love those steps. Walkway going down into the bottom. The main waterfall coming in. Bridge is going across. But just check that out. Wow. Can't wait to see people actually enjoying this. So the kids that are part of their summer camp group, they're gonna be swimming in this pond, just enjoying summer months right here at the church as part of their summer program. Really, really cool project. That just, I cannot believe the transformation that has happened just in a week. I am in Palis Hills, Illinois. I am with Illinois Water Features. See his truck right back there, Jeff Jarris. Dad's out here, he's got his, uh, his guy Nick as well. I am assisting them on a large water feature. So Aquascape, we're a manufacturer, we're a distributor, we're a designer, we're a builder. We're all these different things wrapped into one. But one of the benefits that we have for our customers is we wanna help them succeed with water features. We do that in many ways by providing services, tech support, etc. One of those services is actually on-site consultations, which is why I'm out here. So I'm helping Jeff, he's on a project not too big for him but he could use an extra hand so he's also learning a little bit about the wetland filtrations we have a big grade chain so we have some technical challenges on it so I'm gonna assist him on this project so the next time he comes across this problem he can take care of it on his own so let's go back there meet Jeff and see what they got going on tell us a little bit about this really cool project you got going on here the homeowners had called me out and there was a guy here building a really gnarly waterfall <laughs> at a big oval pond yep and we told him that we could come out here and redo it we have a 25 by 20 pond. Okay. We have an intake bay on it. So we intake have, bay is going over where that gravel's at? So we have a, a six foot grade change, which is awesome to build a cool <laughs> waterfall. So check that we're really out. excited. Um, we have a wetland filter on the top and we have a lot of mossy mountain boulders. We're gonna mix in some granite. We're getting all our gravel later today. So the wetland, eight by 10? Yep. So we'll have 16 aqua blocks, snorkel centipede, six and a half, seven tons of gravel or so in there. That'll look awesome. Yeah. And then that'll be loaded up, uh, I don't know, aquatic plantings. What about um, some of the future plans for the customer about doing like a seating area and stuff? What, yeah, what, what's so the thought about that? Back kind of where that machine is back over there, uh -huh. doing a pergola area, you know, sitting out here at night, having a cocktail. It's going to be perfect. Be awesome. Yeah, it's this a beautiful gonna property. It's going to be all lit up with lights, so <laughs> it's going to look great at night, too. Sweet. All right, let's check out some of these rocks. Some mossy mountain boulders. More boulders down over there. Big property. All the way to the tree line. Here. Nice. Yes, and this is going to be really cool. Let's hop to it. We got our gravel delivery. So these are the super sacks from Illinois Brick. Wetland filter going over there. We have tough access, always seems to happen. Never do we have complete access all the way around in residential situations. This isn't too bad because we actually had gravel roadway over on the side of the property for access. So this worked out pretty well. So we're just trying to come in, reshape some of the waterfalls to make it look a little bit more inviting. And the other thing is you can see 
Got all these windows over here on the home fire pit. They're gonna do the gazebo over on that side. What we're gonna be doing is we wanna to try to have some of that line of sight coming down right down to a waterfall that we put over here. The elevation on the opposite side of that waterfall is too steep. It's gonna be way too rocky. So we're just trying to flatten that stuff out do a series of terraces in there, open everything up, as well as create some areas for planting. So we started doing some of the rock down on the bottom. Ideally, we'd do all the rock work inside the pond, but Jeff is just bringing me out for literally two days. So I'm focusing on waterfall, wetland, that type of stuff that he needs some assistance with. What we've done is over here, come in with a series of layers of rock and all this stuff. So we're leaving some of these openings in place just because he could fill those in with uh, cobblestones and things like that. So this is water level is gonna be right up in here. So we're gonna have a nice little fall coming off. That bottom fall is actually gonna be facing that way towards those windows, right where the blue bucket's at. That waterfall is gonna be facing behind me where the gazebo is gonna go. We have a little low fall in between. Then we have another tall one back here. It's actually buried behind uh, all the liner right now because we peeled the liner back to give us access for excavation. There's gonna be another waterfall right where his machine is at. We're gonna kind of twist and turn our way back up to the wetland filter. Waterfall's taking shape. We got some of the outcroppings done here along the edge. We've been doing all these different layers work all the way up to the top. Uh, we have six, seven feet of elevation change from here all the way to the top where those guys are working. Um, just digging out that final little section where the top waterfall is going to go, but this is really coming together. A lot of cleanup obviously to do. It's just a mess out here because of all the mud. We just got to clean everything up. All this is foamed. We got layers. We have walls going in. We'll have to do the same thing on this side once uh, everything is completed up in here. All right, aqua blocks are in. We got a snorkel. It's our clean out. We have a centipede down on the bottom. That's the water distribution. All that water is going to get blasted out. Then it, the aqua blocks are a sedimentation chamber. The next steps are going to be bringing in all those bags of the river rock. We have different grades of river rock. Going to put in those different layers to get the desired biological filtration. That water is going to fill up in this basin, going to overflow down over a small waterfall on the very top. It's going to hit that rock. It's going to split off in different places and it's going to just start meandering and making its way all the way down to the main pond on the bottom. What I love about it is multiple views. We have windows, deck, fire pit. There's going to be a new gazebo pergola structure going in over here so it's going to be highly visible patios, etc. So all this is going to be pretty awesome. All these different layers of rock coming in, different sizes, different heights, different widths, all that's going to have all types of whitewater action coming down and then it's going to twist and turn and make its way towards that viewing area on the side. Multiple viewing spots from all of this as well and then one of the really important parts is just all these terraces and everything. I kind of put all those layers in place. That's key to the success. I'm back in Palos Hills with Jeff and this waterfall looks great and actually you can't even see it because my big head is in the way. There it is back over that way. But it looks phenomenal. Let's check it out. Your masterpiece. Yes. <laughs> great job. To it took a little bit longer to finish with our soil conditions and then we had to get some more stone in here. All the retaining walls and everything that were built in the waterfall definitely yep. took a little bit longer than we expected for the waterfall. But I mean, it, it turned out awesome. Turned out incredible. And you were I love here it. Helping with, the, with the waterfall, so no, yeah. everything looks great. The pond, the waterfall. I love what you did over here with this intake bay. Kind of wraps everything around and brings uh, the water into a whole different area. But just check that out. I mean, it just all that water comes right into the foreground. That's the sight, the sound of the waterfall. I love all the terracing. You know, coming in with the layers and uh, a slope like this is challenging. That's actually a pretty steep slope. Probably an eight foot tall waterfall fall and it looks great. What do you have on there for pumps? Uh, there's two four to eight pumps. Okay. We have one going strictly to our wetland uh -huh. and one just jetting out in the middle of the stream. All right well let's go take a walk up there and check this out. Well I love how it kind of twists and turns into view. I remember you saying that some of the key viewing areas were from the deck and from the home, yeah, which makes it difficult, but I think, it, I think it works. Talking with the homeowner today, he said they can see it from everywhere in their house. Oh my gosh. He said that when they open their windows, he said it sounds awesome uh, inside your house. That's exactly He's what you could hope the for. <laughs> from the water on the ceiling inside. Nice. So. Well, yeah, that bottom one, that's where we started out. Now, I mean, it's a, literally a 90 degree turn. One waterfall is going straight towards the gazebo 
rainbow. That other section is coming right towards the viewing area. So I love the fact that you added some of these logs and everything. It just kind of breaks up the monotony of all the stone. And I know they started doing some of the landscaping, which makes all the difference in the world. And you'd said that they're going to continue uh, coming in here with some more plants and everything. Yeah, and then on the back side right here, they want to get a few trees. Nice. To help shade things off, keep the pond a little bit cooler. I know you told me when I first got here, they added some fish. I don't see them. Yeah, so right under that rock right there, Yep. it's just completely open. Right nice now. little hiding spot for them. Yeah. yeah, no, that's perfect. Zoom in on some of these waterfalls. That bottom fall, and then that nice little staircase effect. But yeah, just check out all the, the whitewater action. It's got a great sound to it. I love all the uh, working with that moss rock. Makes all the difference in the world. I know it's more expensive, but it really uh, makes a big difference. And then also, one of the keys from a design standpoint is we have all this heavy rock work right around the stream, but coming off on the side with all those terraces and everything really help to stabilize the edge of the soil of, of that slope. But it also adds a little bit of visual interest. You know, it kind of creates little planting pockets once all that stuff is planted up. Man, this really looks good. And I want to check out this wetland too. That was a little bit of a challenge to try to squeeze that thing in up here on the very top, wasn't it? You know, we got it in there. Uh, it just fit. It's filtering and it's going to make this pond look beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll you yeah, have plenty of filtration capacity for those fish to grow, which is always key. You know, you don't want to under filter it. I want to come to this other side and get another view. Just like in nature, all the water doesn't start at the very top of the mountain. You usually have multiple inputs of water, which is exactly what we're trying to replicate. So we have one pump going all the way to the top, second one coming in about two thirds of the way up, and then we have all of that water cascading down. It really, really works well. And I really, I, I wish I can come back out here at night. It's a little bit of a long drive, but it would really be cool because this is gonna look incredible. Once they get that gazebo, seating areas and everything over in this section, they're gonna get a lot of use out of this property. All right, Jeff, great job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. We're super In happy with how it turned out. Incredible job, I'm sure everybody is thrilled. I can't wait till everything's all landscaped. So I hope you like this little project update with Jeff. Awesome project, great guy, doing some really cool stuff out there. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next project. Have a great day.